on the next That's Life, we are at the University of Akron, where I'm going one-on-one -on -one with Zippy. Okay, jump ball, all right? We'll see you at 10. Welcome to That's Life on the Road. We are at the University of Akron, right in front of the student union, in fact. And you may be asking yourself, why is Robin at the University of Akron? Uh, all right, Herb. Few people know this, but I did go to college um, for two weeks. And I think the way my life's been going, I'm thinking of going back. So I've heard so many great things about the University of Akron that I wanted to find the treasure in my own backyard. So I've got my Chuck Taylors on so that I fit in. I have my book bag I've got so I can load that up with stuff. That, Where'd you get that from? The fact that it says prison break, Herb, I think will be to my advantage because I don't know what kind of professors I'm going to get. But anyway, so I can load that baby up with books, but I'm going to start out by meeting, going to the top. I'm going to meet the president of the University of Akron, and I hear he's waiting for me somewhere inside this building. Let's go. I'm going to go right to find the president, who is Dr. Luis Proenza, and if there's anybody that knows about the University of Akron, it's got to be the president. And I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess, I think, so I'm, I'm excuse me, Why, one of you is the president, not right me. here, it's not you, <laughs> it's not, me. It's not you. He, he's about to graduate, he's all right. Oh. And you, I'm Robin Swoboda with That's well, Life. Well, so nice to have you on campus. Robin Swoboda from Fox 8. How you doing? Bye, how so, you doing? I'm doing good. This is a great school. Hey, it's great. I've been here longer than I'm supposed to be, but I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> Every semester, I'm, I'm loving it, though. He's, a, he's about well, to start his own company. So very nice. It's like a media company. It's called, it's called a media company that do flyers See? and graphic design. Re well, if you need somebody, let me know. Why? Because I'm coming back to school myself. Really? So, you know, maybe yeah, I can I'm work for you. We all together. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. You. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you soon. Now, do well, you have that, that kind of interaction with all your students? Well, not, a, not all of them, but yeah. a lot of them. It's yeah, just wonderful nice. to walk around campus and see how things are going with students. Some of them are new. Some of them are about to graduate. Some of them are coming back. And yes, <laughs> yes. Well, I'm thinking about coming back. And I was wondering if you could tell me just a little bit about uh, well, the university. Sure, sure. I mean, you know, as I think you've been hearing, uh, over the past few years, we completely transformed the, the campus. We've added uh, 10 brand new buildings. We're about to add three more. Uh, we've added 30 acres of green space. Uh, we've uh, planted 30,000 trees. We've made major additions and renovations to a lot of other buildings. Buildings. So it's a new campus. It's 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 the place to be. Students, as, as you can see, just wandering around, uh, are really enjoying uh, the facility. They are enjoying all aspects of this. We're, we're in a student union right now, mm -hmm. but we've got a new uh, recreation center, a new field house, a new student services building, several new academic buildings. Wow, it's just uh, it's, it's a wild place. Well, I know it, it's growing by leaps and bounds because you've got a, a, a you've seen a huge yeah. increase in your enrollment, right? Very much, indeed. We're enjoying unprecedented growth. And somebody, you know, because I was thinking, oh, this TV stuff. You know, I don't know if I'm very successful at that. I was thinking about maybe getting into science, and I understand that uh, University of Akron is a leader in, uh, in, in that field. Very much. We convert our discoveries into new businesses and opportunities. The university itself has formed about 23 companies in the last five years. And as you heard from that young man that we visited with uh, when you came up, uh, he's about to form his own company as a result of what he's learned here, so wow. it's exciting. Well, I did lots of research on it, and um, I found out that the University of Akron is the only public university in Ohio with a science and engineering department ranked in the top five in the country. That's right. That's, that's right. huge. Yeah, of course, we're not as large as places like Ohio State or Cincinnati, but we enjoy an unprecedented level of success. Uh, in, in the fields that are related to the industry right here in, o in Ohio. Polymers, of course, as you know, is Polymers. one of our signature programs. I hear you do something with geckos that we're going to check oh, out yeah. a little bit later. You know, uh, a polymer that is geared to imitate uh, how uh, geckos are able to uh, use their, their, their paws to cling to, to, to walls and ceilings. So we hope to have a glove that you can maybe crawl up at the ceiling. Very nice. You Give want to sit meeting. down for a Sure. Second? Okay, Let's join take me. those two chairs right there. I don't hey, know guys. what you thought about my book bag. 
Um, Herb was giving me kind of a hard time. But, well, you know, you know thought, we, we, we all I, have been there before, if, so uh, you, <laughs> but, but uh, even, tell you. Even it, a university president? You haven't really uh, been to prison, but sometimes it feels like it, right? There you go, there you go. Now, well, I've got something here that you, that you should have, but let's talk first. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so t t tell me, what, what's the most misunderstood thing about the University of Akron? Well, I, I think it's a, it's a place that's uh, always been far better than anyone knew. Uh, and uh, it is uh, very reasonable to, to attend. Uh, we're uh, priced very, very reasonably. And our, our students have such tremendous success, and that's what makes us very proud. We enable student success. We measure our success by the success of our students, what we enable them to do. And they make us very proud in, in competitions ranging from business to engineering to law to nursing, just the full range of things. It's our students that distinguish themselves, of course supported by an exceptional faculty. Well, I know oftentimes the best, set, best kept secrets are in our own backyard, exactly. and that's what I think the University of Akron is. But this whole show, we're going to find out all the fabulous things that are going on here. Well, it's, so, it's, um, it's become the yeah. place to be, and I think well, you'll see why. And that's why we're here. So, so um, I'm going to go visit. check out the, uh, what's it called? The Student Recreation yeah. and Wellness Center? Yeah. Is, is that a brand new place? Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. And now can I have my presents, please? I would love to. <laughs> that way you can uh, decide to uh, really come back to school. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to uh -huh. go put it on right now. Okay. And then I'm going to head to the Wellness Center because I've had a little bit of a cold. So I'll see if I can work something out there. Yeah, that'll keep so. you uh, Thank you for a so bit. much for You're your welcome. time. It was so Delighted nice meeting you. you. Enjoy your visit. This is the president, everybody. <laughs> Hail to the chief. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome, Maybe I'll have to get a backpack too. Like you imagine when you were young. Can we well, this being a student thing is great. I get to work out here at the Recreation and Wellness Center, and I'm kind of liking this. Excuse me, do you have an ID? Um, the president gave me the sweatshirt. Does that count? <laughs> I mean the president of, of the university. I, I think we can. We can. I, I'm Robin Swoboda with uh, That's Life on uh, Fox 8. How I'm are you? I'm Chuck Kunzman. Oh, Glad it's to nice meet to you. meet you. Are, are you the uh, the big cheese of, of this here place? <laughs> I'm one of the big cheeses here, One of yes. the big cheeses? This is an amazing facility. It, it's a great facility for our students and faculty and staff and some of the community, too. How big is it? We have 210,000 square feet. Wow. And how many? I mean, everywhere I look, for. For as far as the eye can see, I see exercise equipment. I don't know if it's a if it's heaven or a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little of both. <laughs> it's a little both. But really, how, how much exercise equipment do you have? Uh, we have over 200 workout stations, so 200 people can be working out at one time. And obviously, people rotate, so it really can handle a lot more than that. Is physical fitness a requirement to get into the University no, of No, it's not a requirement. There's a lot of us that think it should be because all the obesity awareness stuff that's been going on, it's certainly a benefit to the university to provide sure. uh, an avenue for people to work on a healthy lifestyle. And this is free to, to all the all, university all the students? students? University students is part of their tuition. How about outsiders? Can we do have join? some outside memberships, primarily yeah. Uh, with uh, alumni, that's our biggest group. Yeah. A very small group of community people, but alumni is our big group. Right. So besides uh, besides this kind of equipment, show me something crazy that you have. Oh, our wildest thing is the climbing wall. So do people actually pay to do this? Uh, most of the time it's free, but okay. the, the, the training is really taking a, a class to learn how to do the belay. And once they learn how to do the blaying, then it really is free. The what? Blaying. That's what these gentlemen blaying. over here are doing. They're belaying the climbers. So the, the, the rope and the, the harnesses that they have, it's safety. So if they let go of the wall, uh -huh. they're going to catch them. Oh, wow. And you, it's just like if they were outdoors in you know, any other climbing situation. I am so glad to see that that's what they're doing. Because a few minutes ago, I spotted the guy in the brown pants with that apparatus <laughs> around his, his waist <laughs> I wonder what and the heck upper that is. thighs. And I thought... That's kind of weird looking. <laughs> if you don't know what it is. Yes. If you now, don't do, know what, do people what it is. get credit? Do, do students get we, credit we, for, for working out here? Or? Well, some we do have some classes in here. So we have a climbing class in here. We have fit uh, weight training classes, aerobic classes, fitness classes that they can get credit for. But we also offer to students a lot of free classes. So they just need to show up whenever they they want to, and they can come in and do a group aerobics class or a yoga class 
for free. Wow, and this looks like a new facility. It is pretty new, we're in our fourth year. Wow, that so is I, new. That's why the bathroom was so nice. <laughs> bathroom was very nice. Now you're not gonna make me climb that wall or anything, are oh, you? We could if you like. No, that's okay, that's okay. I already got my abs worked out well enough. But uh, Well, this will, I, this will work out your legs and, and your upper body. I just thank you, so I'm just hot and thirsty just thinking about it. Yeah. I'm so well, thirsty. If you're thirsty, I'm, we have this nice little water bottle for you that you what? can keep your water in. <laughs> Chuck, you shouldn't have. This has been the best day of my life. A sweatshirt and a You're water bottle. A whole I'm getting a lot of nice stuff. Thank you very much. It was oh, so welcome. nice to meet it's you. Nice meeting you too. And uh, you know, if I come back to school, even if I'm part time, I can work oh, out here. Oh yes. All you got to do is be a student. All right. I'm sensing great academic progress and physical fitness in there my future. There you go, and that's what we want. And I'll be well hydrated and well go. dressed. Chuck, thank you so much. You're welcome. And we'll have Glad more. Glad to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's great to be anywhere. You know, when you're me, it's just always fun. We'll have more of that's life from the University of Akron when we come back. Hey, welcome to That's Life on the Road. We are at the University of Akron, and you may be asking yourself, now, why is Robin at the University of Akron? <laughs> I can't even what speak today. You need to be up there. Welcome back to That's Life on the Road. We are at the University of Akron, and I... I had to have a code to get up here on this elevator because I am checking out now the science department where the most unbelievable research is going on right behind these doors. And it must be good because look at that warning, emergency contact, caution, caution, warning, do not enter, do not enter. Well, all I'm saying is I have to. Let's see what's going on behind the door. All right, so I'm inside where those really smart people are, and already I'm starting to perspire. <laughs> but I'm looking for Dr. Ali Dino Jawala. Did I say that correctly? That's right. And that's that correct. must be you. Yes. You are the polymer science professor here at U of A. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now you and your team have come up with something incredible using geckos. Mm -hmm. Let me explain to you okay. what we are doing. Uh, when we normally think of feet. We don't really think of gecko feet. Because no, <laughs> no I've never thought of gecko we, feet in my life. Yeah, and when we talk about uh, the structure of the gecko feet, it's quite remarkable. So okay. if you look at this picture, which I'm showing you on the right, is a feet of a gecko. Uh -huh. And if you blow up this picture, you find that it's covered with very tiny hairs. They're so tiny, they're almost 1,000 times smaller than a human hair. And those hairs help you stick to surfaces and it helps it sticks to surfaces very really? well. It has no glues, it has no viscoelastic adhesives which we are very familiar okay. with in the hardware stores and it can work under vacuum and it can work on surfaces even uh, like Teflon. So the gecko is what inspired you to create this synthetic gecko That's tape. right, so, so the, uh, the idea was can we make something synthetic? Uh, with the same principles as that is found yep. on gecko feet. So you don't you don't actually use gecko feet. We don't use gecko okay. feet, but we are is inspired it? by yeah. it. Okay. And can you can you show me some? Sure, absolutely. Some of the stuff that that, that you've yeah. done and what you're talking about here. So what we have here is uh, first the uh, the little guy here. Should I? Okay. Talk about the, the little guy here. Oh, there's the little guy. And so I this just is, want to buy car insurance for yeah, some reason. This guy doesn't look uh, <laughs> as ugly as the gecko gecko, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is a day gecko. A day and, gecko. And okay. if I can show you the the feet of this gecko, they are actually covered with all those tiny hairs, uh, yeah. which I was showing you on the picture there. And Boy. these hairs actually allow him to grab onto my hand and climb vertically up. They can even hang upside down. Uh, That's a bit, yeah, because I know the few times I've been in Florida, I see him mm -hmm. running around crawling all ki kinds of places yeah. that I wouldn't expect him to. Yeah, they're, more, they're one of the most uh, adaptive climbers we know. And, and so you smart guys decided that you're going <laughs> to yes. recreate this. We, we decided that how can we come uh, and make materials which would be inspired by this little tiny guy okay. here. And so what we have I come like up... I like his skirt too, by the way. <laughs> that's his little leash, isn't it? That's right. This a is a leash. harness which we hold. A harness, and, yeah. excuse me. And what okay. we have come up with is an idea of using uh, carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are also very tiny, and uh, they are hundreds <laughs> of nanometers <laughs> in diameter. Uh, we take those materials and we transfer them to tapes. Okay. And what you're really watching here is a tape 
which is stuck on a glass mm -hmm. and uh, the weight which is which you're watching down here hanging is is supported by these dry adhesive which we have developed in this lab. The, the, just like the feet, they can just like the attach feet, they and can then attach detach, and detach quickly. Detach quickly. And, and when you're looking toward the future, what would this be used in? So we are thinking technology? of applications where applications. We, do not, applications where we do not want to use gloves. Uh, we do not want to use viscoelastic adhesive. So for example, if you are a, an astronaut in space mm -hmm. and you want to stick to things in vacuum, you would like to use these materials rather than liquids because liquids would evaporate in space. Sure they would. And in, it, in places where you want to create uh, circuit boards for electronics or you want to stick things in places where you want to keep things clean, and that's the place where you would be using these materials. How amazing is that? Well, here's to you and the University of Akron and Geckos. Thank you so it's much. A, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you for stopping How by. How does it feel to be so smart? <laughs> is it, does Do your brain just, ever want to explode? We are, they're just practical. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll have more from the University of Akron right after this. Thank you. Okay. Can we let this guy go now? Yeah, okay. let him go. Okay. Very nice. Hey, welcome back to That's Life on the Road. We are at the University of Akron, where I'm playing a little one-on-one -on -one with Zippy. Ooh. Oh, get, get. the uh, University of Akron mascot. You got to work on your follow-through. <laughs> you need some what help? Do you, what do you know? <laughs> Not much. Coach Keith Gambra, nice to you? meet you. You also. <laughs> So you were watching all of that? I was. Well, I'm sorry. You know, all I can say is I've had a little cold, and uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not dressed appropriately for it. And you know, as a coach, you know, I can't say? let you make that excuse. <laughs> you. you just gotta yeah, make yeah. the shot. Yeah. You know, I, I'm thinking about coming back to school. When I come to the Uni University of Akron, and I think a lot of people are drawn here because of the sports program, and particularly basketball. You guys are pretty good. But well, we're excited about our team. Uh, over the last three years, we've built a pretty good program, and we've got great support from our president and our university uh, environment, and we're, we're glad to be here. Yeah, yeah, you did pretty good last year. What do you think about this year? Well, we're 12, 12 and 3 at this point, so we're getting better. Yes, you, uh, yes, you are, and with great mascots like this. Yeah, he's a pretty guy, isn't he? <laughs> He's very pretty. I like his shoes. Cause look wow. how new, look how old. Well, look how New Year's look. Now, what is up with this? We'll get Everybody you. Everybody has white shiny shoes, and I'm in my dumb old Chuck Taylors. You let us know what size you wear. We'll get you. A <laughs> very small. I have very small feet. It's the only small thing on my body. Okay. So, <laughs> speaking of small and not so small, you got to coach LeBron James, didn't you? I did. I was lucky. Well, yeah. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was a it was a thrill. It was an easy guy to coach. He's so team oriented. Great yeah. guy, one of the best players of all time. Did you know he was going to be as good as he is right now? I knew he was going to be pretty good. I had no <laughs> idea he was going to be this good. And was he a nice guy? I thought he was easy to coach. I still yeah. love, love him today. He's yeah. done a lot for our program. He's very loyal to his friends. Does he speak to you still? He does. Does he? He does. He does, does he a lot of things here. Does he come back here? Does he? He does. His camp, really? his open gyms are all here. Very nice. Very nice. Well, what are, you, what are you looking for when you're putting together a basketball team? Well, we look for high character guys first and foremost, and then guys that care about winning. Yeah. And I think if you have those two attributes, you have a great chance to have a good program. Yeah, and you can say that about all these guys? We have good guys. Hey, hold on, I got something for you, Robin. You do? Hey, guys. You do? Guys, guys, come, come bring that, that stuff oh, we have no. for Robin. You think it's a new pair of tennis shoes? Come on, come on. What do you think it is? <laughs> come on, hurry up. Let me just. Oh, no. This is Cedric Middleton, Robin, hey, one of our Cedric. captains. Hey, Cedric. How are you? Nice Robin. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Thank you. We have a hat and a basketball signed by the team. <gasps> You're kidding me. Oh, how very... There thank you. Go. you. Hopefully thank you'll bring you. us good luck and oh. you'll bring us a victory tomorrow. Oh, oh, I will. I will. I, do you need me? <laughs> Just put me in, coach. Put me in. I don't know. I don't know. Put me in. What do you think? Yeah, Did right. you see me do... Herb. Herb. Just, okay, just watch. Just watch. Now, I, I don't want to, you know, I, I will never bounce that. Don't get but nervous. But here we go. Okay. All right. Follow through. Thank you, hey. oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I think
think I will end on that note. I'm not trying another, and I'm going to go check out the um, field house. Oh, do, you yeah. ever, do you ever hang out there? We do. Okay. Well, I'm going to go see what that's all about and see if uh, I can get a gift there, too. So, so thank you, guys. Visit. Hey, keep going. You guys are great. All right. We are the champions, my friends. <laughs> So this college life isn't bad. I mean, I've gotten a sweatshirt, a hat, an autographed basketball. Now I'm going to head into the field house at the University of Akron and meet the director of athletics and see what I can get from him. I, I, I mean, see what I can find out about all the athletic programs here. And they got something big that they're building here, and we're going to find out what it is. All right, his name is Mac Rhodes, and... I was looking for somebody in athletic apparel, but he, I think he looks more like Milton Drysdale. You Mac Rhodes? I'm Mac Rhodes. Hey, Robin Swoboda. Robin, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Welcome to the field house. Well, thank you. I feel so underdressed, but you know, I was going for the college kid look. You look, I, you I, know? I like the gear. Thank very, you. Very thank nice. You. I got this. Well from, represented. I got this from the president and uh, this from the uh, basketball team. And and what would you like to give me? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're, we're, I'm going to give you the basketball <laughs> game. We, we had because a part of that. Because you that too, right? Yes. Yes. Very nice. Okay. We're in the field house right now. And yes. uh, what's, what's happening here? And when, right, what else right, goes on? Right now, we've got our uh, nationally ranked men's soccer team practicing a little bit. I love and, soccer. Uh, the field house, great facility. Um, there's not much that doesn't go on in here. Okay. Men's soccer, women's soccer, softball, baseball, track and field, football team practices here, um, community events. So wonderful facility. Uh, we it's keep beautiful. it programmed all the time. So. All right. Now, I know you're looking ahead. University of Akron is always looking ahead. And September 12th of 2009, is a big day for y'all. Why is that? Big day. Opening of a brand new football stadium. You're not so, going to be playing at the Rubber Bowl anymore. No more. Uh, you know, tears, we're, we're, uh, we're wiping away the tears, but we're getting ready to play and, and uh, excited about the new stadium. think it's going to be just unbelievable for the entire community. Well, talk, can, can you give me any, uh, you know, insider information Inside, on it? Uh, 30,000 seats, um, mm -hmm. suites, loge boxes, club seats, really? uh, end zone facility. Uh, we'll play six home games. Um, just again, state of the art. Uh, we're hoping here to break ground at the end of this month. And so that that is moving forward. You mm -hmm. see the construction fences outside. Uh -huh. So we're, we're preparing and we're getting ready and we're excited. And it's going to be, again, tremendous asset for the university, for our athletics program, and the community. Is there anything that's going to be set it apart from other stadiums? Well, I, I just think, I think the amenities. I think mm -hmm. if you look at the architectural design, um, I think it's first class. And then again, the amenities with the club level and the suites and everything, I think it will yeah. be one of the nicest, finest stadiums in the country. Tell me something people don't know about the athletics um, at University of Akron. I have well, a little bit of a cold, so I'm not making a lot of sense. So, but no, you no, just no, bear with no, me. No, 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 not at all. You know, w what's interesting is you look at athletics across the country. There's only 119 Division I-A programs in the entire country. We happen to have one of them. And, uh, you know, to me, that, that's special. That, that's something that the, the university uh, is to be proud of, that this community is to be proud of. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to work hard and make it one of the best uh, or one of the better of the, the 119. Now, tell me that new stadium again. Is it going to have a name or is it going to be sponsored by somebody or what's the story well, We, on we that? have a name. It is Infocision Stadium and Summa Field. So both, both corporations, uh, Infocision uh, Stadium, uh -huh. Gary and Karen Taylor, wonderful, wonderful people, uh, great supporters of the university, uh -huh. uh, donated a league gift uh, nice. for the stadium, a $10 million nice. gift. And then Summa uh, Healthcare has, has provided uh, a $5 million gift in the naming rights to the field. Fabulous. So. I just have one more question. Yes. Mac, could we go right back there? I saw that Gatorade. Oh, absolutely. Today. Could we take that and pour that on somebody's head? Unsuspecting sure. head. I've always wanted to do that, and I see it just sitting sure. there. So sure. Can we do that? Yeah, we can okay. do that. Oh, it's just crummy water. There's no Gatorade in here? No. They won't. Okay. No. Okay, I could just... What, what are you doing? Trying to pick it up so I can pour it on somebody's head. Since Mac left me, maybe I could pour it on his head, but I can't, I can't lift it. All right. well, we're probably going to get in trouble. You're always the voice of reason, Herb. We'll have more of that's life right after this.
Could somebody help me? <laughs> Welcome back to That's Life on the Road. We are at the University of Akron, and I, I had to have a code to get up here on this elevator because I am checking out now the science department where the most unbelievable research is going on right behind these doors. And it must be good because look at that warning, emergency contact, caution, caution, warning, do not enter, do not enter. Well, all I'm saying is I have to. Let's see what's going on behind the door. All right, so I'm inside where the really smart people are, and already I'm starting to perspire. <laughs> but I'm looking for Dr. Ali Dino Jawala. Did I say that correctly? That's right. That's and that correct. must be you. Yes. You are the polymer science professor here at U of A. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, you and your team have come up with something incredible using geckos. Mm -hmm. Let me explain to you okay. what we are doing. Uh, when we normally think of feet, we don't really think of gecko feet. Because no, <laughs> no I've never thought of gecko we, feet in my life. Yeah, and when we talk about uh, the structure of the gecko feet, it's quite remarkable. So if you look at this picture, which I'm showing you on the right, is a feet of a gecko. Uh -huh. And if you blow up this picture, you find that it's covered with very tiny hairs. They're so tiny, they're almost 1,000 times smaller than a human hair. And those hairs help you stick to surfaces and it helps it sticks to surfaces very really? well. It has no glues, it has no viscoelastic adhesives which we are very familiar okay. with in the hardware stores and it can work under vacuum and it can work on surfaces even uh, like Teflon. So the gecko is what inspired you to create this synthetic gecko That's tape. right, so, so the, uh, the idea was can we make something synthetic? Uh, with the same principles as that is found yep. on gecko feet. So you don't you don't actually use gecko feet. We don't use gecko okay. feet, but we are is inspired it? by yeah. it. Okay. And can you can you show me some? Sure, absolutely. Some of the stuff that that, that you've yeah. done and what you're talking about here. So what we have here is uh, first the uh, the little guy here. Should I? Okay. Talk about the, the little guy here. Oh, there's the little guy. And so I this just is, want to buy car insurance for yeah, some reason. This guy doesn't look uh, <laughs> as ugly as the gecko gecko, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is a day gecko. A day and, gecko. And okay. if I can show you the, the feet of this gecko, they are actually covered with all those tiny hairs, uh, yeah. which I was showing you on that picture there. And Boy. these hairs actually allow him to grab onto my hand and climb vertically up. They can even hang upside down. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, because I know the few times I've been in Florida, I see him mm -hmm. running around crawling all ki kinds of places yeah. that I wouldn't expect him to. Yeah, they're, more, they're one of the most uh, adaptive climbers we know. And, and so you smart guys decided that you're going <laughs> to yes. recreate this. We, we decided that how can we come uh, and make materials which would be inspired by this little tiny guy okay. here. And so what we have I come like up... I like his skirt too, by the way. <laughs> That's his little leash, isn't it? That's right. This a is a leash. harness which we hold. A harness. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. And what okay. we have come up with is an idea of using uh, carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are also very tiny, and uh, they are hundreds <laughs> of nanometer <laughs> <laughs> in diameter. Uh, we take those materials and we transfer them to tapes. Okay. And what you're really watching here is a tape which is stuck on a glass, mm -hmm. and uh, the weight which is which you're watching down here hanging is is supported by these dry adhesive which we have developed in this lab. The, the, just like the feet, they can like the attach feet, and they can then attach detach, and detach quickly. Detach quickly. And, and when you're looking toward the future, what would this be used in? So we are thinking technology? of applications where applications. We, do not applications where we do not want to use gloves. We do not want to use viscoelastic adhesives. So for example, if you are a, an astronaut in space mm -hmm. and you want to stick to things in vacuum, you would like to use these materials rather than liquids because liquids would evaporate in space. Sure they would. And in, a, in places where you want to create uh, circuit boards for electronics or you want to stick things in places where you want to keep things clean, and that's the place where you would be using these materials. How amazing is that? Well, here's to you and the University of Akron and geckos. Thank you so it's much. A, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you for stopping How by. How does it feel to be so smart? <laughs> Is it, does so your brain just, ever want to explode? We are, we are just practical. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll have more from the University of Akron right after this. Okay. Can we let this guy go now? Yeah, let him go.
Welcome back to That's Life on the Road. We are at the University of Akron, and we are in the kitchen now. This is part of hospitality management, which is one of the programs here, and the Crystal Room is right through those doors, and this is the manager of the Crystal Room, Mark Kent. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Thank it's you for coming very out. very nice to meet you, and uh, tell us about the hospitality management program. Well, our program has four different majors involved. We do a culinary arts, we do hotel management, we do a hotel marketing and sales, and we also do restaurant management. All right. So students coming into the umbrella of hospitality management can get an associate's degree in one of those areas. All right, and right now we're just talking about cooking, because you Sorry. cook up some fine dishes here, yes. and you were going to prepare one for us, right? Yes, we are. And what's it called? It Top is... Ramen. No, because <laughs> that's what most college kids eat, I'm right. thinking, but that's not no, what you're We have thinking. a vegetarian dish. It's a pasta dish with artichokes, basil, pine nuts, and garlic. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds really good. All right, let's get going. What do I all need right. to do? What do I need to do? Well, first of all, we're going to heat some olive oil in a skillet. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, once that's heated up, you're going to add some, because you're going to be cooking. All right, this is a training class. All right, okay, all right. All right. So we're going to have you add uh, some pine nuts, okay. about a spoonful or so. About a spoonful. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that a spoonful? That's good. That looks good to me. All, all right. right. And then do I just start swishing it around? You start swishing it around, and as it starts to brown a little bit, mm -hmm. we're going to add some garlic. Ooh, okay. All right. I don't know. You think it's browning now a little bit? Or maybe not so much? A little bit more. A little bit more? Right. All right. Tell me about the Crystal Room. What goes on out there? It's a All really right. pretty room. The Crystal Room is a restaurant that we serve lunch four days a week in another class. It's called Food Production 2, mm -hmm. and that class serves both the academic community, faculty, staff, and students, uh -huh. but we also serve the public. Ooh. And we have an a la carte menu, and what we're trying to do is train the student in cooking in an a la carte setting, cooking in a restaurant setting, okay. and also how to uh, manage the back of the house, the kitchen. That's a lot. I, I, wouldn't, been, I wouldn't be able to. Chop faster over there. I'm just kidding you. <laughs> okay, because we want these. <laughs> He's super Does he ever talk like that to you? Does he just bark out orders like that? Because it's a lot of pressure being in the kitchen, isn't it? Oh, it is extremely work, pressure. Especially pressure when packed. your pine nuts aren't browning. All right, and so, they're about to start okay. here, as you can see. So there we go. And All do right. we need anything to well, stir this? Well, we're going to use I'm this just... rubber spatula, but this is a high temp rubber spatula, so it will oh, withstand okay. the heat and not melt on and you. That's why it has the big groove in there. Okay. Right. So we're going to okay, add so now how we're gonna much add of this some garlic. garlic. Some? Well, let's, let's add a, yeah, let's go there. I like a lot right. of garlic. Plus, I've had this little cold, so I'll add it till I can smell it. I That's can't right. Smell Keep it. going. The more, more, the better. All right. Okay. That's All right. good. All right. All then right. What? All right. So now we've got that working. Oh, they're really brown. Then we're going to add our tomato. All right. Get those tomatoes in there. Okay. Under. That's good. Oh, that's enough? All yeah. right. All right. That's now enough. we're going to add a little bit of artichokes. Okay. A little Grab bit of artichoke. a few of those in there. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to heat that through. Okay. There are flames shooting up around the pan. Let's add a little bit of wine. Okay. Be careful with the wine. Okay. A that's little good. Or all of it. That's good for now. Okay. All right. For now. Uh huh. Nothing's gonna like blow up, is it? Well, let's hope not. We should have. We have fire in the hole. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. And then. All right. Now we're gonna add our pasta. We have okay. a penne pasta. It's already, already been pre-cooked, yes. Mm -hmm. Al dente? Al dente, absolutely. Uh -huh. Oh, al dente. Yes. All righty. Okay. Get that going. So now we're going to stir that around. Keep it in the hole. It's a big hole. Yeah. You don't want to get it outside. Uh, it's not that big, Mark. I've, I've got bigger pans than this at home. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. And All right. We're what? going to give it a little bit of seasoning, okay? A little bit of seasoning. You know that bam thing that goes yes. on? Oh, yeah. You got a bam there? Yeah. All right. We like to say boom on our boom? show. Boom? I yeah. like boom. boom. All right. All right. All right, and so now that... we have some fresh basil. Okay. All right, and we cut the basil on a fine shred. In the classroom, there's a term for that. It's called chiffonade. 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 Mm -hmm. So we've got chiffonade basil. And chiffonading right over there. Yes, he is. So we're going to mix that in. All righty. Does it taste better when it's chiffonade, or it, it just looks yes. prettier? Oh, absolutely. All right. And that, is that it? Well, all we're oh, going to we add is a going. little bit of cheese. How does it feel to be my sous chef? Oh, it's a different experience. <laughs> <laughs> I know it smells pretty good, Rob. It does smell pretty good. It's like I knew what I'm doing. I don't know, though. 
I, I'm sure the presentation, though, I'm going to have to come back and take a class. That's all there is to it. And then all right, so then we do? hit it with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. And we're going to take some whole basil as a garnish. That is beautiful. All right. Maybe. And then we have to take a bite. Oh, absolutely. Real quick. You need to try that. Uh huh. All right. Oh, that's very good. Can you taste? No. No. I can't. <laughs> because of my cold, but I, I'm thinking it's good. Okay. So, oh, you're going to garnish? We wanted it on the stem. I think I know that the. the uh, I'm, I'm going to enroll in this program. And I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to check out where kids get financial aid and, okay. and you know, all the all student right. enrollment stuff. So. Thank you. Thank you. Very Appreciate you coming much. out. I'm sure that's taste delicious. This? Herb, you stick back here and you eat it. And yeah. I'll, uh, I'm going to go and roll. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I am so ready to enroll here. I can't stand it. And I am looking for Doug McNutt because they told me that he's the director of student financial aid and student enrollment services. And I'm, I'm wondering if I could find some hey, information. Robin. Are you Doug McNutt? <laughs> I'm Doug McNutt. How nice are to meet you? you. Good. Thank nice you. To meet I'm you. very pleased to meet you. And I am so impressed with the University of Akron. So, and, and, and I hear that I can do everything I need to to enroll right here in this building. The is Student that Services Center, that's true. The Student Services Center is uh, uh, a one stop service center. No, don't most. I mean, back in the day, uh, maybe they still do. You used to have to go from building to building to building. We used to have to go from building to building, uh, but then uh, the change after that was that we had individual lines for financial aid, registration, student accounts. Uh, now let's, we've got one stop let's where go you can have them. all those questions answered with one with one stop. Because it kind of looks like a bank to me. I mean, you well, know, we, you walk in, you've got the different little uh, tellers here. We do banking, we do uh, mm -hmm. registration, we do financial aid. Uh, the beauty is, is the students that you see in line here mm -hmm. are maybe changing their classes, okay. their class for the semester. In the past, they would have to stand in line to make a registration change. They'd then have to go to financial aid and say, well, how is this going to affect my financial aid? They then go to the student accounts and say, what's my new bill? Now they can go to one window and get all those questions and answered by one person. It all done. Yes, it's great. Now, what kind of uh, you know? I'm I'm working. I have three children. You know, I want to come back to school. Do you offer financial aid? We award over two hundred million dollars in financial aid every year. Really? Uh, can anybody uh, apply for that? Anybody can apply. It's based on uh, merit and financial need, both. And as a parent with three children, you may be eligible for some uh, for significant I, I, financial aid. I know people in high places because the president gave me this sweatshirt. I don't mean President Bush. You know, I mean the president. The president of Proenza. Yeah. Yes, well, I think yes. that probably, that might give you a, a, an Maybe extra, I could sell it on eBay. An extra $500 <laughs> scholarship. When somebody's applying for financial aid, are there tips they need to keep in mind? Well, number one is apply early, as soon as possible after January 1st. Uh, Many schools have a deadline date that you have to get your forms in. Mm -hmm. uh, ours is March 1st, okay. a priority date. So if you want to get the maximum aid that you're eligible for, you should make sure that you apply by March 1st. If you're attending another institution, that may be a different date, but ours okay. is March 1st. Do I need to hide any assets I might have? Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I have no assets. Um, I understand, too, that high school students can actually be in high school and start earning credits here, too. Yes, we have a post-secondary right? education option program, one of, the, one of the largest in the state, actually. And high school students can come here uh, free of charge uh, take and earn, high, earn college credit. We have a lot of students who come in with uh, wow. 6, 12, 18 hours of credit when they come to school. That is fabulous. It's beautiful. You guys are doing a good job. Well, thank I you. I really am going <laughs> to enroll. I'm going to get my whole family to enroll. Okay. So, well, we hope to see that? you here. All right. All well, right. I'll be back. And we've okay. got to go to a commercial. Okay. But when we come back, we're going to find out. Don't, don't walk away just okay. yet. All we're right. going to find out other new and exciting things that are going on at, at the University of Akron. And that's life on the road continues. I'm playing basketball with uh, uh, Zippy at the University of Akron and Herb is shooting it. So I just thought I'd be a smarty pants and answer his phone. <laughs> You're a zip? All right. Really? I'm speaking to somebody who you graduated from here? 
And her nephew is in here now. That is a perfect, because we're doing the whole show in the University of Akron. Yeah, Herb. Say phone call with your name. What are you doing? Uh, is he enjoying his time here? I've met the president, and he gave me a sweatshirt. Welcome back to That's Life on the Road. You will never guess where I am. Nope. That's not where I am. I am in a dorm room at the University of Akron in uh, uh, Exchange Street Residence Hall, actually. And this is John Messina, and you are Director of Residence Life and Housing, Correct. right? Yes. So nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is amazing. Is, is this typical of what dorm life is all about these uh, days? Uh, nowadays, yes. Um, five years ago, not so much. Uh, the amenities that students are asking for is just a little bit better than I live at home, so <laughs> yeah, it's you quite and me nice. Both. This view is incredible. Amazing! You can see the entire city from here. Wow! Wow! Now, how is the how has the response been from students? Students, uh, this is one of our highest demand buildings. It filled. Um, it's brand new. It opened in the fall, and it filled. Um, within, I believe, four hours of us opening up selections. So within students, four hours? Wow, yeah, I can so see why. Came I can in see why. And said we wanted it. What, what sets this apart from others? Besides being new, the mm -hmm. location and the amenities. I mean, okay. the, these apartments are, are decked out. Let's get up and look at some of the amenities. Right. So since we barged right in here, actually, actually we met a really nice girl, Christina, yes. who uh, said that we could come in and look at her apartment. And this is Christina right over here with her henchmen there. So <laughs> now these are not your roommates, are they? No. Because if your mom roommate. or dad are watching anybody, no, these are not the roommates. Not the it's roommates. just a bunch of girls that live here, right? right? All girls. And what is behind that curtain? Because I think people will be shocked to find out what just da 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 da. What? You mean you have no excuse now to go home and take loads of dirty laundry? Nope, do it no. all here. And and you pointed out to us earlier that it was not coin operated. Correct. Yeah, very impressive. Very, very impressive. impressive. Full kitchen and yeah. men in the kitchen to cook. Is that why they're here? I hope You're so. You're the cooks. Yep. Very nice. All right, get busy. We want something, and we don't want just noodles and and chicken soup. Okay. All right. And so, uh, how many bedrooms do you have here? We have four bedrooms. Okay. Four single bedrooms, all girls. Um, and it's all right that we just look size. in there? Yeah, this yeah. is one of my roommate's bedrooms. Isn't that cute? Yeah, she's very, very good at decorating. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and is it pretty soundproof? I mean, are yeah, you... Yeah, you can't really hear too much. Okay. Uh, bedroom to bedroom, even from the living room to the bedrooms. It's really nice. Now, the question is, how many bathrooms do you have? Two if you've full got bathrooms. Two full bathrooms. Yep, separate very showers. Nice. All right, and that's one of the bathrooms. And then you go through here, the and you've got the outside, sinks. Which is nice. Very nice. Someone can be in the shower. As all well. right. You have all of your your personal items put away, so I can't ask you if you make sure you guys brush and floss and yeah, all that we jazz. We do all that. Do they? <laughs> all right. Okay. And then another bathroom there, and just the bedrooms just keep going on. Oh, but that must be the that's the little furnace room. Here. And that's your room. Yep. This is Isn't my that cute? Mm -hmm. And are you happy here? I love it. All I right. absolutely love it. Okay. And uh, and uh, so if you want to get in this building, you have to sign up quick. You Is have to sign up quick. You have to actually be an upper class student, live it on campus your freshman year, and then come here. You can come here your sophomore year. Your sophomore year. Okay. You can try so, and come here. Because I, you know what, I, I'm thinking of I'm I'm enrolling, and yeah. I kind of like to get away from my family. We can so get you in the building you? if you like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any other places I should check well, out while I'm on campus? If you're looking for something really unique in living, Quaker Whoops. Square. <gasps> as I just look broke at that. Them. It's okay. Oh, it's a cute little night light. Of yes. course. That's great. You fix that. And I'm going to go check out uh, Quaker uh, Quaker State. All right. And okay. thank you so much for thank the tour. Thank you for Quaker State nice. or, or, or Quaker? Quaker Square. Quaker Square. <laughs> Quaker Steak and Lube is good though. We can get wings later if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for Ted. Ted Curtis, who is a big cheese vice president for capital planning and facilities management. Oh, the man in the suit. This is I Ted Curtis. Uh, you must be Robin Swoboda. I am. How so nice that? to meet nice you. Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. The dorm rooms. This looks more like a hotel to me. Well, well, what's going on here? They're about. They both sleep people. 
Really? Yeah, yeah. Right here. It's a new concept. All right. Well, tell me about this. This is the Quaker, Quaker Square <sighs> complex that has been incorporated into the whole University of Akron thing. Yes, it is. What's I, up with that? I, I bought the facility with some partners in 1972. Mm -hmm. 1980, we turned the silos, or officially known as grain elevators, okay. into a Hilton hotel. Yep. And it's been a Hilton hotel since 1980. And here, 27 years later, the owner wanted to sell, and we were in the market to buy, uh -huh. so it made a nice deal. And the purpose of us buying is to house students in, the, in part of the facility okay. and also to have hotel the rooms, hotel. continuing oh. with hotel rooms. So and like when parents have a hard time of letting go <laughs> of their children, well, they can uh, get the kids in the dorm rooms here and then come and stay and in the they hotel. they can stay and watch them. Very nice. Now, you also have shops and restaurants and things here? Shops. There's about 120,000 square feet of shops, offices, and restaurants in the brick buildings to the north from where we are. Okay. Where we're standing right now, you can see the silos, green elevator. Yeah. This used to be outdoors. And then to our right, we built seminar and meeting rooms, a ballroom and facilities f that uh, supplement the use of, uh, of hotels. Wow, and, and what are your future plans? Future plans, well these seminar rooms and ballrooms will continue to be used mm -hmm. by uh, students, for organizations, uh, study groups, and also for outside business events. Can we follow those students? I'm Let's assuming follow. they're students. They I'd like students. to see one of now, the dorm rooms here, like in a hotel out, room. I'd like to point out the Sun faces. Oh yes. The sun faces uh, is what made the wheat grow. Okay. And from the wheat we get the grain. And that's how they went into the oats business. All right. And you've gone from oats to folks. Storing right? oats to storing folks. That's very really good. Let's let's How'd go. You let's come go. up with it. <laughs> oh, I catch on quick. Uh, I catch on now quick. Now the gears you see here, this is from old machinery. Uh, from the um, How cool is from that? Quaker from Quaker Oats Company. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! We're having a big dorm party. Are you yeah. going to your rooms? Yes, 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 we are. Do you guys want Can company? Yes. yes. Whoa! They sound oh, a little anxious. So exciting! <laughs> Nice. Now this is a typical. Is that Fox? Do you have that on Fox? I'm you, not you sure. Better, you better get on I'm Fox. Not sure. Yeah, you better. See, here's a. Very nice. And I see you eat the way most college uh -huh. kids do. <laughs> they got the. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is very nice. And they also have the appropriate artwork. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, very nice. Very nice. The wedding crashers poster. Very nice. And look at your tidy little bathroom with the uh, coffee maker. I don't see any floss. How much does this cost? Uh, what is it? About thirty-two hundred. Uh, it's like twenty-four. A year or a semester? A semester. Twenty-four yeah. hundred. Very nice. Are all your friends price. jealous? Uh, yeah. yeah. Everybody's trying to get in here. So. Oh yeah. I no remember kidding. her. I would she like was to. A friend of mine. I oh, yeah. wouldn't mind rooming here. Hey, thank you guys for for letting us crash your pad, and um, uh, we really appreciate it. And we're going to have more of that's life from the University of Akron right after this. I am so enrolling right now. Welcome back to That's Life on the Road. Sadly, our time has come to an end, and I don't have any more hands to hold all my loot. But I hope you've enjoyed your time here at the University of Akron as much as I have. And, and one final thought I want to leave you with, in case you're thinking about going back to school or sending the kids off to college, listen to this. The University of Akron's mascot, Zippy, you know my friend? Well, he took first place in the Capital One Bowl Mascot of the Year Challenge on January 1st. That's what I'm talking about. So one Ohio school brought home a winner this year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and go Zips! Go! Somebody give me a high five!